Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we discuss about the product Interactive Artificial Bee Colony Supported Passive Continuous Authentication System Now we discuss the abstract for the process In this paper an Interactive Passive Continuous Authentication that is CA system based on both hard and soft biometrics is presented Human facial features are used as hard biometric information for the authentication process and the clothes colors of the user is employed as the soft biometric information the passive ca system keeps verifying without interrupting the user from the concentrating on this work it also provides the capacity of our the machine to recognize who is the front of the terminal reduces the potential security leaks and denies access of the invader with the stolen account and password in this system the face recognition core is implemented not only by the eigen face method but also assisted by the interface artificial interface of interactive artificial bee colony optimization algorithm the experimental research indicate the accuracy of the recognition is rise up 3.31 percentage that is from 83.75 percentage to 86.88 percentage with the data from the overall database and it is provided with the 34.53 percentage on average in the real time continuous authentication environment now we discuss the flow diagram for the process at first the input video is taken from the dataset the dataset consists of several dataset videos after taking the input video the input video is converted into the number of frames frames is nothing but the sequence of image which is extracted from the single video after extracting the frames we have undergoing for the pre processing in this pre processing the number of frames is introduced into the pre processing step the pre processing is nothing but the filtering filtering is the noise filtering noise filtering is the process of removing the noise from the image to remove the noise from the each and every frames we have used the gaussian filter for the noise removal after the noise removal the noise free frames are comes under the process of skin color detection in the skin color detection we use the color transformation for the skin detection in this color transformation we used an c form for the color transformation after the color transformation the skin color is detected and the face is also detected by the color transformation after detecting the face the bounding box is extracted for the extracted face after the bounding box detection the optimization is carried out in this we have considered the two major optimization the first one is the abc optimization then the second one is the pca optimization the combination of the abc optimization as well as the pca optimization we have optimized the optimize the face and the detection is carried out then the authentication is carried out after the optimization the authentication will result will shows the whether the person is authenticated or not the result will be in the text form if the person is authenticated means the result will be shown as the text as authenticated if the person is not authenticated means the text shows is not authenticated now the initial guy window was opened in that you can see the several buttons these are known as the push buttons then these two display units are represented as an axis now click the button input then select the dataset video from the dataset after selecting the video from the dataset the selected video is display in the 
axis 1 with the title original video then click the button frame conversion after clicking the button frame conversion the video is converted into the several number of frames in this way the sequence of image is extracted from the single video then click the button pre-processing after clicking the button pre-processing the pre-processed video is shown in the axis 2 with the title filtered video then click the button OCBCR after clicking the button OCBCR the color transformation is occurred in this way the color transformation is occurred then click the button skin color after clicking the button skin color the skin color region only directed by means of the clustering in this process the clustering is done using the k-means clustering the k-means clustering is detect the original face region that is the original skin region by means of the color transformation the face detection part is that is the skin color detection part is done for each and every frames present in the video after extracting the skin color region from the sequence of video detect, uh, click the button detect face by clicking the detect face the face region is detected by this method the face region is detected the box is known as the bounding box then click the button face segmentation after clicking the button face segmentation the whole bounding box is created for the whole face region then click the button i direction after clicking the button i direction the pixel values which is similar to the i regions are detected using the centroid circles now click the button graph this graph is the graph which is used for the eigen phase vector the eigen vector is the line graph which comes from the eigen now click the button abc after clicking the button abc the abc graph is drawn which is shown in the figure 4 this is the fitness factor of the ABC then click the button PCA after clicking the button PCA the PCA graph is shown in front of you the PCA is an optimization similar to the ABC which is optimized as the result now click the button authentication after clicking the button authentication if the person is not authenticated it means the indication will be shown in the command window and also if the person is not authenticated means the guy window will be automatically closed